Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Joel, that's Gavin, and this is A Stable Life. Ow! All right, so we're here on our feed room. We're gonna get started with morning feeding. What's involved with morning feeding? That's an excellent question. In the morning, we've got different feeds measured out for different horses. As you can see, Roni here is on two scoops of his existing grain, and we're slowly working him over to our current grain. Now, based on his dietary needs, it looks like we're gonna be having him on Calm Ultra. As we go through, most of our horses, you'll notice, get all of their supplements and vitamins and minerals in the afternoon. The reason being for that is because in the mornings is when we put on the sunscreens, the fly masks, and the fly sprays. That way we balance out the day so it's not like one feeding has so much and then another feeding practically has nothing. So today, we're gonna be getting started with getting our feed from these beautiful grain bins into these buckets and into their bellies. We got our grain all measured out. Now Gavin and I are gonna grab these buckets and we're gonna put them in the stalls. And how are you doing this morning, puppy? How you doing? How was Buster and Rocky this morning, huh? I know what you want and that's a dash of that and a dash of that. Boom. There you go, boys, eat up. Now because our left run has William in it at night and our Right run has Poncho in it at night. Roni is in our what we call the lower exercise arena. We have two stalls, both of which are ours. This is Argento's and this is Obi's. And then the back entrance opens up in the stall to allow them to come in. So it basically becomes kind of like a lean-in or a uh, structure for him to get out of the weather, the hot sun or the rain, depending on what he wants. But because of that, that means that when I'm putting grain in, I gotta open up this stall. Everyone wanna say good morning to Roni? Like macaroni? Woo! Hey, Roni, good morning. Ah, buddy. Even though he doesn't have anything to do with macaroni, it's just uh, a way you can remember the name. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Come on, we're going in here. This is your stall. There you go, look how nice it is. It's got a fan, got grain. Yeah. He is beautiful, isn't he? You're a nice horse, aren't you, buddy? You look, all the grain you're spilling. Oh my goodness. He's even got a temporary name tag. And then to get things ready for Argento, all I have to do is close up the back door, clean the stall, and put grain in the stall, and then Argento stall is ready for Argento. It does add a little bit to the morning routine, but it's nothing major, and it, that way he's got a nice area that he can go and get to know the rest of the horses, but he's also got shelter. So our stable is set up that we're able to take care of three horses and in individual paddocks at any given time. Time to clean some poop. Thank you for cleaning a walkway, Gavin. You're welcome. All right, now we've reached the time of the day where we get to let in the horses. We got William, we got Poncho, and then we got the main herd. So, I got a rope, let's get her going. Gavin, bring the camera over here. What do we got? Those are just our horses, Joel. Gavin, come with me. We'll, we're, I'm going to show you the difference between a horse and a cow. This is a cow, right? You're close. You're close. You have to come on this side to see that. All right, so now when you look at a horse, you'll notice that they have two ears, a head, two eyes, a long neck, and four hooves. And when you look at a cow, you'll notice that they have two ears, two eyes, a head, a long neck, and four hooves. However, take note of the horse's hooves, Gavin. See how they're solid across? Now look at the cow's hooves. See how they're split? That's how you tell. No, I still think Suede's a cow. Uh, I'm sorry, Kirsten, I tried. Come on, boyos. Come on. We got many horses here, back but who out. will walk in first? Got back out. 
Skywalker, maybe? That's oh, not, that's Spitfire. Spitfire, Spitfire is in first. Look at that. Next is Danny. Declan. Samson. Whoa. Duke, oh, Slade. Duke. Uh, I think that's Tucker. Weather. Archer. Coming up quick. Ovi. Gavin. Ooh. Oops, Skywalker, Skywalker and Argento entered at the same time. Don't worry, I don't dislike Suede. He's a very nice horse. He's just so bovine. All right, all joking aside, guess what? The cows are back. Not really surprising. They also have managed to move our manure wagon out of its area because they know that's where they need to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around them. All right, Gavin, uh, try to stay right here on this lower hill so they don't run down. I'm going to go around and loop them in. Leia, Leia. Come here. Right here. Right here. Turn around. Sit. Sit. Stay. You guard the door, okay? All right. With us team in action, I'm going to go get the gate. You got this, Gavin? Woo! Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Just got to run around and open up the gate for you. I know that's where you want to go. Don't hurt yourselves now. Don't hurt yourselves now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here we are. They are ready to get back in the cow pasture. We'll open up the gate. Okay, Gavin, go ahead and push them in. There you go, boys. Now they're already getting it. They're getting it. Now you gotta get these three. Oh, two. I gotta get these two. Mm. Leia is of no help. She abandoned her position right away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I ended up being the one holding the camera and Gavin ended up being the one that has to walk down the hill to, to get him back up. I kind of feel bad right now. Also, if you notice that one of my pipes are falling over, I blame Argento for that. I gotta fix that today. It's okay, I know what happened though. It wasn't that they broke it, it's just that from the fence settling, it pulled the pipe and the glue wasn't settled quite exactly where it needed to be and it popped right out. It's no big deal, I can fix that easy today. All right, the cows are back. All right, we got the menorah wagon back. Gavin's a little out of breath, by the way. Thank you for going down the hill and taking care of that for me. You're welcome. Yeah, all right. So next up is, it's donkey time. Is it really donkey time? Oh yeah. Do you know what that means? I'm just kidding, guys. Woo! Donkey time. <laughs> Buster. Rocky, come here. Come here. This is where we'll be today. Look at Buster go. You could say he's Buster in a move. Ooh. Oh, here he comes. Majestic. Absolutely adorable. Majestic. Do Dragon Pose 7. Glorious. All right, with the donkeys taken care of via Team Joel and Gavin, let's go. It's cloudy today, and it's gonna be cloudy all day. UV index is low, so I don't need to worry about sunscreens, which means we only have to do fly sprays and fly masks. So Gavin and I are gonna work together, just alternating through the list. We're gonna start with me working on suede. Woo, fly mask time. Good stuff. Looks good, buddy. Looks good. It smells so bad in here. Another horse on the list is Weather. He's gonna get both a fly spray and a fly mask. Oh, uh, you lost your fly mask. Okay, normally I would put his fly mask on, but it appears Weather didn't like it on and got rid of it in the big field, which means it's currently lost. So until it's found, he is going to be fly maskless. <laughs> Sometimes they don't like the fly mask on and they take it upon themselves to take it off. Usually all that involves is a quick drive on the four-wheeler around the pasture and we can find the fly mask. All right, we got all the boards done, which means the horses are ready to turn out. But before we do that, we're gonna get Roni set up in his pasture. So Gavin's gonna take care of Hay and I'm gonna take care of Roni. I have the rope just in case. He's a good horse though. Hey buddy. Come on, let's go for a walk.
So, some of you may be wondering how Roni is doing here at the stable and how things are going with him being implemented into the herd. Things are going pretty well. Uh, we've only just recently started letting him out into the big field about halfway during the day, usually around one o'clock in the afternoon. We'll turn him out in the big field with the rest of the horses. Things have been going well, although Roni is definitely more of a scared horse. He doesn't really like to worry so much about uh, who's on top and who's on the bottom. He just doesn't want to be bothered. So we're implementing him a little slower than normal just to ensure that he doesn't have any bruises or bite marks and that he has a good experience. He's also ready for the hay that Gavin brought him. Hey. So he gets to chill in this pasture up about till one o'clock and then we let him out with the rest of the horses and he gets to enjoy his time with them. And then we let him in with everybody else at three o'clock. So he's only out with the horses for about two hours. I also thought I'd answer this question. I noticed a lot of you were asking this and I honestly can't believe I didn't answer it in the video. I don't know why I didn't, but you were wondering, well, hey, what did we do with all that loose hay? I answered it in the comments, but you know, not everybody reads the comment section. So what we did was I took about half to three quarters of the hay that was usable and I put it in one of the round bale feeders down there. You can see it in the first one. So the horses can pick through it. They can eat what they want, what they don't. I'll just pack up the feeder, scoop it up with the tractor and dump it on the compost pile, which is what I did with the remaining quarter that was under the stairs. That was just too dusty, too moldy, too yucky. And I put that right down on the compost pile. So that's gonna be composted and then eventually spread on the fields next spring. All right, Ronnie, we'll see you in a bit. All right, now that all the horse pastures are set up, next up is gonna be turnout. So I'm just gonna set up the camera and we're gonna let out the horses. We're filling up the big water trough right now for the horses so that they're set for the day. They went through a lot of water because we had a lot of warm weather uh, this past week. But for the rest of the week, we're looking at basically low 80s, which is just, just fine for summer here. So next up, after we finish turning out all the horses for the big field and the middle field, we're gonna be heading back to the hardware store to get the last parts that we need to finish off our new water system. So that way we have it completed. And then we're gonna make some celebrations, man, because that is gonna be an awesome milestone. We've been bucketing water into that run for well over a year now since it was made. And uh, I'm happy to say that that won't be a problem anymore. Alrighty guys, so Tucker is actually in the lower ring. He's pretty much the same system that we have set up for Roni at night. Tucker is because he has an abscess on his back right leg. Uh, we already just finished soaking his foot with Epsom salt. We cleaned it all out. We're getting it set up for him so that he is good to go. And then down here, completely dry. No issues. He's got a run-in shed so that he doesn't have to worry about <laughs> doesn't have to worry about rain or anything like that. So he'll he'll get healed up pretty quick. We caught the abscess pretty quick. With that in mind, and now that all morning feeding is done, I'm gonna head down here to find out exactly how much pipe I need to finish up our water system. Hey Buster. So the plan is I'm gonna be putting in a system right here. I'm gonna rough fit it first, and then we're gonna be putting in a valve system that you can turn the valve and when you open the valve up. Water goes into this trough. When you close the valve, water flows past this pipe along this fence line over to that water trough where Roni and William can get water. And that way they will be set for the day. I'll be right past all this. So Gavin and I are gonna do some measurements and uh, we'll see you. <laughs> What's Buster think of the pipe? He likes it. All right, so Gavin and I are in the car. We're heading up to the hardware store now. So we're all loaded up. We got the pipes in the car. Gavin lost his seat, so he's in the back seat now. Uh, it's it's pretty spacious. All right, we're gonna go pick up lunch for everyone at the store, and then we're gonna get grub because it's num num time. Woo! And for lunch today, we're having Wendy's, and I'm eating in the back of the store with Megan. Yep. And Gavin. Poke your head up over the boxes, Gavin. So what's Megan having for lunch today? I'm having chicken nuggets, french fries, and root beer. Ooh, we love our root beer, don't we? Yeah. yeah, root beer's good. If you've never had some, I recommend trying it. It's good. All right, we'll see you guys in the horse pasture. All right, so we're down here. We got all the tools, except for the level, which Gavin's going to go get. Just wanted to give you guys a closer look over here. And I know exactly why this failed. This failed because right here, I didn't clean it off. I know, any plumber out there that's watching this is gonna say, Joel, what are you doing? I know, I should have used cleaner. I have it now, I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna reconnect it, but even more so, I'm gonna cut a piece here and put in a new joint connection so that it's not as tight. What happened was, this pole here 
and this pole here are new and naturally as this sat here it slowly started to settle and as it settled it just pulled on that pipe which already had a weak connection that was the one that was leaking and it just pulled the pipe right out so i'm kind of glad it happened now so that it's not a big problem everything else has been working absolutely fantastic but i just need that gavin got the level so we're going to work on fixing that and then we're going to move over here and we're going to start making our contraption here for filling up this trough and then we need to go on down the line by the way you may have noticed i'm using a milwaukee sawzall with a dewalt blade that's how i roll We want it to be at a slight angle down. Good. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Come here, Buster. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. He came over to me. Oh, doesn't want me to touch him though. Hello. Hi, Buster. Oh, Rocky's here too. <laughs> Here's Rocky. So cute. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put in a system that I'm going to rough cut, which is basically I'm not gluing anything. I'm just going to get a number of pieces together, measure everything out, put it together before I glue it just to make sure it works. And we're going to put it on and then we're going to have Gavin turn on the water and we're going to see how it flows. And if it flows the way it's supposed to, then we'll continue on with the next section. And if it doesn't, then I'll need to readjust things here. So what do you guys like to do on your Saturdays? Sleep in? Maybe have some egos? Maybe you're a toaster strudel guy, you know? Or a girl. Or a girl. Turning that easy to turn valve. And water will back up the system into here and then it will continue to flow where it should, which is down the line. Uh, the only thing we'll have to keep in mind is that in the winter time, we have to make sure that this is opened after we're done filling that tank. In the summer, it really doesn't matter but in the winter, this line, this section here will freeze if this valve's closed. So that is gonna be a must. Gotta make sure this is open in the winter. All right, Gavin, I need you to activate super fast Gavin mode and go turn on the water. All right, here we go. And just twist it, nice and tight. And then boom. And now we wait. So good news guys, it works great. Here, take the camera over here, Gavin, I'll show you. I don't know if there's enough water coming through, but when you close the valve, it backs up. Get in here. So once it fills up, and then it just flows straight through, and it'll continue on to the next trough. Alrighty guys, we got the system finally put in. We had a little bit of hiccups because we were using old pipe and new pipe and any plumbers out there know that that's never fun. So uh, I've got a few temporary things on for now, including the pipe that you're seeing right there. That won't permanently be there. That is just there. So we have water for today, but we have the system running all the way through to the left run. And I also understand that it probably looks like it goes uphill at certain points. We have checked it, triple, triple checked it with the level. So to start, we're going to turn this valve on. There we go. So water will come out of there. And we know it's a successful system. If we got water coming out of here and no water coming out of there, then we're going to close this valve off 
and see if we got water down there. We're gonna flush the system through for a little while, make sure everything's clear out of it, dump both troughs, wash them out, and then we'll fill it up for drinking water. Here, here it is. All right, good deal. Now we're gonna shut the valve and we'll see if it goes to the next section. The water will flow through this to here. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, that's a good feeling, guys. That is a really good feeling. So we have water pumping into the left run. I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna let it probably run for about 10 to 20 gallons. And then I'll switch it over and let that run for a little bit. And then once, once we're good and through, I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna scrub them down a little bit and push them through. Gavin's here, so I'm probably gonna have Gavin head on up top and he might start feeding for me. We'll see what he's comfortable with, but things are looking really good down here. I gotta clean up all the tools and everything, so I was only able to do this with Gavin's help. Gavin, thank you so much, buddy. I really needed your help today, and I'm really glad you were here. But it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Gavin. Good news, not only is he gonna work on feeding horses for me while I work on cleaning these water troughs, but he's gonna get me a bottle of water as well because it's warm out. Today it is, it's only 81, but I've been in the sun. So, you know, it does feel a little warmer. That is nice cold water, man. I'm gonna go get a broom and we're gonna sweep these bins out. <laughs> the donkeys keep coming over here. And I gotta clean up all this stuff and put it away. <sighs> this is awesome. All right, let's get to it. I find that these work the best at uh, cleaning off the troughs. This one's not too dirty, but we're mainly gonna be scrubbing the floor. We got water running through it. I'm gonna set the camera up and get scrubbing. I don't know if we're ever gonna put a roof over top of these. Might be a good idea to do that. For now, this is just, just having water down here is an absolutely amazing thing. So we'll, we'll build off of it from here. Who knows what the future holds. Just use this to get all the corners. Yeah, I am definitely happy with that. That'll be great. All right. We're just gonna go ahead and turn that valve and then let's fill this trough up. And then this is ready for William tonight and for Ro tomorrow. Not to mention any of the other horses that end up needing this pasture. That's awesome. Beautiful. All right, and as you guys can see, that water is crystal clear. William just got a drink. The water over there is crystal clear. I really need to have more batteries on me because my battery got too hot and then it's gone. And you can see them just enjoying that water in the background. Gavin! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, it is good stuff. It's cold. How does it feel, Gavin? It is amazing. very cold. Isn't that nice? It feels amazing. Kind of want to drink it, but you know you can't. Ew. I'm honest, I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> oh man, we got a thunderstorm rolling in. Woo! I'm so happy that we got this system done. F finished all the way up, works perfectly. And I just wanted to answer one final question. I answered this in the other video, but I wanted to answer it in this one too. The reason why we're not using soft, flexible tubing is because the sun heats it up and it begins to wave through the posts. We tried it up there and that's exactly what happened. And then what happens is the water then gets, sits inside the waves, freezes, and in the winter we can't use this. In the winter, this will completely flow through and out. So long as that valve is opened, we will not have any freezing issues. The entire thing is angled downhill. So I'm quite happy with the system. It looks great. Gavin, how do you rate the system? Um, what's the scale? Uh, one to 10. About 12. Okay, hon, how do you rate the system? 10. Thank you. Alrighty guys, it's gonna be on that note that we're drawing an end of the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, Gavin, hit them with the reminders. <laughs> like and subscribe, ring the notification bell, um, comment your favorite food. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gavin, appreciate that. And guys, as always, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha